export from the terraces. I uh, haven't done one of these for a while because I've been busy uh, interviewing for our UK Casuals Talks to series. Um, so this week, the main news is that Steve Hodge uh, sold Maradona's shirt for £7.1 million. Um, we'll show you a clip from a very early Soccer AM um, episode where he actually took the shirt to Soccer AM um, in a carrier bag. Uh, so cut to clip. Okay. I'm going to need a bit of silence oh. for this. You see this? This is the actual shirt as worn by Diego Maradona Ooh. in the London game in Mexico, 1986. That is the shirt that man was wearing when he hand falls into the England net. It was lent to us this morning by none other than our guest, Steve Hodge. I've never even thought of where that shirt has ended up until now. How? How did you manage to get it? Sorry, excuse me. Oh, you be careful with it. It's these proper things. Yeah, man. The gay man's like you know, always obviously wear it down there. Sorry, can I just say? <laughs> I told my son I was going to do this. It is. It so, is. my son, Jordan, if you're watching, this is Maradona's shirt. That's his right. Yeah, that's why he likes it so much. Right. Yeah, right. Now give it back. Come on, don't try. I need a photo with this. Alright. Yeah, right. So, it's just a regular we'll shirt just cut, cut stuff on the way after the game, you know, kind of, I'll give it that one. You know, any chance. Yeah. And he's like, you know, going mad and happy and whatever. And he just went, one of these and came across, took it up, wish him all the best. And um. We're also going to show you now a screenshot on screen of, of Peter Shilton. And like most Englishmen, <laughs> he's come out and said that he wouldn't have washed his dishes with it. Um, and if he'd have known that the shirt was in the dressing room after the quarterfinal defeat, he would have ripped it in into a thousand pieces. Um, it's called the hand of God, but I call it the hand of the devil. Not that I'm bitter or anything, uh, but, you know, he did cheat. Um, and that's the end of it. Moving on. Um, nice. Uh, there's a clip coming up now. It's nice to see Tony Cotton leading the West Ham fans in Frankfurt um, in a sing-along. <laughs> Somehow, I can't see Gary Lineker doing the same thing with Leicester. Old Big Ears wouldn't be doing it. Speaking of Leicester, <laughs> there's a brilliant clip now coming up of a Rover, of an AS Roma fan giving it large <laughs> to a lot of Leicester fans on his moped, not looking where he's going. And then all of a sudden, bang, he smashes straight into the back of a car. Uh, so instant karma. Moving on to uh, Sunday League, grassroots football. Uh, this clip is what you would call taking one for the team. This guy stood in the wall for a free kick, like many of us have done. We've been playing for our local pub. Um, and the ball gets smashed straight into him. It's what's called a stinger. And uh, for his trouble, um, he got a nice print 
of a football on his chest, which you will see now. <laughs> Um, so now on to UK Casuals Talks to series. We have an interview coming up with a Greek former ultra called Christos, who tells us uh, he's from PAOK Gate 4. Um, Christos lets us know about terrorist culture in Greece. Very interesting interview. The first person I've interviewed outside the UK. So it was nice to speak to someone uh, that isn't involved in the UK scene. Um, our latest interview that is out now is with Martin Wymo Gardner, part two. You may have seen part one, um, Lincoln Transit Elite. Uh, part two is very honest. He talks about his time in prison. He talks about the time he got run. Um, you know, he, he talks about a lot of things. It's a very warts and all interview. Also coming soon, um, we have Geely Shaw from Wolves Part 2. And we also um, have a former Man City hooligan, now turned former, uh, now turned pro boxer, um, Anthony Fivian, who was recently on the James English podcast, which is how I got to know the guy. Um, and um, I was really thrilled. It was a pleasure to interview. I was really thrilled that he came on to UK Casuals. Um, also coming up on UK Casuals, we will be working with a Swedish podcast. Uh, it will be in English because I can't speak Swedish, but thankfully they can. Um, their name translates into the third half. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their name in Swedish because I'll, I'll get it completely wrong. Um, so we'll be finding out about the Swedish terrorist culture um, and there'll be a few, there won't just be one podcast, there'll be a few podcasts that will be coming up. Um, also, Casual Minds have opened their shop. Um, now, Casual Minds are the company uh, behind uh, Casual Minds Matter, the men's mental health. I, I, if you can see my t-shirt, Casual Minds Matter, checking in on men's, on, on men's mental health. Um, if you haven't joined their Facebook group, um, then please do, because it's a real good thing what they're doing. They've recently just opened their shop in Darlington. So if you're up that way, please go and visit. Uh, last thing I would like to say is that Pananaro issue three is now out. Most of you have probably ordered it and have probably got it, um, which is on screen now. Uh, there's a very good article um, called At Your Service, Remembering the Infamous 80s Leeds Crew um, by Carl Stiro. I hope I've pronounced that right. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see um that on the screen properly but there it is um they've also done a tribute to andy withrell on on the front cover i mean i i can't say enough about this this magazine pananaro i i just i just think it's excellent i mean there's so much i mean it's it's uh let's see now yeah it's 221 pages worth i mean the first two issues got sold out. So this issue is probably sold out already, but they very kindly sent it to me. Um, so a big shout out to Palomaro Magazine. Um, please check out UK Casuals on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And please subscribe. Um, and there'll be more videos coming from UK Casuals soon.